So what does that look like? It looks like follow me. That's what Jesus said. Take up your cross daily, die to yourself, and follow me. Jesus has a plan for your life. And your number one plan for your life is, Jesus' number one plan for your life is to be a fisher of men. That's the number one calling all of us have been given by God is to go and make disciples. Your investment brokerage or your school teacher role or your coach role, whatever your role is, is a means to an end, but it's not the end. The end is the gospel, the gospel, the gospel, and making disciples. So how do, how do you and I do that? Well, I want to pick up Romans chapter 12 really quick. I'm going to read this verse over us. And I want, to, I want to pick up three words because I believe follow me looks like what we're about to unpack. It's wherever and whenever my neighbor and, my, and to the nations. But listen to Romans 12, 1 and 2. I appeal to you, therefore, brothers, by the mercies of God, to present your bodies as a living sacrifice. So the first Word is the word surrender. Surrender today to this call of God on your life to be a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is your spiritual worship or your spiritual act of worship. Do not be conformed to this world. Be set apart. Be separate. Be different. That's what it means. Don't be conformed to this world, but, but look different. Live different. Be set apart. But be transformed by the renewal of your mind, that by testing you may discern what is the will of God, what, what is good, acceptable, and perfect. To be spirit-minded. God-sized dreams, kingdom dreams, come through the Holy Spirit and people that are spirit-minded. Listen, I, I'm, I am in my 60s, okay? Okay. And I, I'm looking at the last part of my life. And I want to go as hard as I can for as long as I can for the gospel of God and the kingdom of God and to multiply disciples. What God-sized dream do you have for your life and for your family? What's out there for you? He says, come after me. Have you made the decision to come to Jesus today, to surrender in salvation? Surrender is this moment in time. For me, August 1978, 16 years old, I surrendered to Christ in salvation. Surrender is not only a moment in time, it's also moment by moment. Surrender daily. So surrender in salvation, yes, all of us need to come to Christ but every single day you roll your uh, body out of bed and your feet at the floor, you have an opportunity today to say, God, I surrender. My life is yours. My yes is on the table. My hands are open. My life is interruptible. I surrender. And it's moment by moment, all throughout the day, this constant practicing the presence of God, I surrender to you today. And then surrender to a global calling. And this is a season of moments, right? Surrender's a moment. It's moment by moment. But if you're going to go global or you're going to wrap your heart around um, a ministry here today to invest your life in, it's a season of moments. It's you saying to the Lord, God, I'm going I'm to step all in with these people and I'm going to give um, financially, I'm going to give sacrificially, I'm going to give with my hands, I'm going to give with my energy, I'm going to pour out in a season of moments and live my life on mission. God can and will, and, and he actually wants to today. Listen to this. God can and will, and I believe he actually wants to today, realign your plans. Reshape your desires, and repurpose your gifts for his glory. I'll say that again. I believe God can and will, and he actually wants to 
Realign your plans. Reshape your desires. And repurpose your gifts for his glory.